What do you do when you find a mysterious mutant creature? Cook it up and eat it, of course. Well, at least that's the decision made by these individuals. Watch if you dare. They pull this strange looking guy out of a cave. It looks like a root vegetable with eyes. Then they cook it. Now it's time to eat. Some in the comments say it looks like a mandrake root, and it kind of does. But those eyes though, I don't think I could eat anything that was looking at me that way. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day. So what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. Nellis writes, This is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside as they descend into the pits of creepy. On one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness, asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps. Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nellis says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here, or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nellis says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something coming. Wait, wait, wait. Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. Douglas Daniel has caught two scary moments on camera. One is pretty obvious, while the other is for the most observant eye, so don't blink. Here goes, oh! A rock slide bangs a barrier open before this guy even has a chance to take their hands out of his pockets to protect himself. And if that was one of the smaller rocks, think about what any of the larger ones would have done to him. He isn't the only lucky person in this video. A rock climber is right next to the action when the rocks let loose. I wonder if something they did caused this to happen. If so, I can only imagine how bad they would have felt if somebody got hurt because of their mistake. After receiving a movement notification on her Nest camera while on vacation, Redditor Delta9 Junkie found this and posted it to the ghost subreddit. Watch for the strange morphing shadows. And a moment later, this happens. 
It looks like a shadow mist seeps out from under the kitchen island. Although I'm at a loss, Reddit has its theories about how that type of shadow might have been cast. While I might go with the dishwasher steam theory, the Redditor says the dishwasher wouldn't have been running since they were on vacation. Others point out that you can see whatever is being reflected on the shiny cabinets as well. So if you're looking for the best logical explanation, an insect crawling over a light source seems to be the winner. But I don't know. I wouldn't rule out a paranormal anomaly. When YouTube personalities are filming, they often capture the unexpected in their footage, and sometimes they capture the paranormal. Marissa Rochelle published this video in August of 2016. Marissa explains that when she was filming a back-to-school video, when she left her camera rolling and left the room, she turned off some of the lights but left one light on and was gone for around two to three minutes. When she returned, the only thing slightly out of the ordinary was that Marissa noticed her camera had tilted downward. Still, this wasn't that unusual because the heavy camera often tilts on its tripod. She continued filming. It wasn't until Marissa watched back the footage that she saw this nightmarish hand. Her sister Shauna was editing the film when she called Marissa over to take a look at this creepiness she spotted on camera. When she gets up to go retrieve the prize, you can hear the door close as she leaves the room. And I did keep one light on just so that I would be able to find my way back in the dark. After two minutes of radio silence, you can see the camera slowly falling downward. As the shot falls below her bed, something to the left beneath her bed moves quickly out of the shot. Marissa says it looks like a child's hand. Shauna and Marissa search beneath the bed to see if there was anything there that might move like this, but they came up short. A child ghost, a doll come to life. What's beneath Marissa's bed? Whatever it may be, my guess is that it's very nefarious. This highly active haunted house is scaring YouTuber Dark Arts TV more than ever before. The place looks lived in. But then I kind of feel like someone's been living up here as well. But I don't think there is. I don't think there's anyone. I think it's just you know more close and stacked up. But yeah, it's definitely eerie, eerie, eerie place. They speak to the spirits that haunt the home through a spirit box. Was you, was you banging upstairs before? Something murder. Murder? Wow, doesn't seem like a murder joint, is it? It sounds like it said something about ending a life. Then the spirit gets kind of handsy. Do you just sort of some? What, what, what? It felt like someone touched me again then. Really? Yeah. Mate, it felt like someone touched my, like, my neck. No way. Mate, I won't fuck what the f me. Then it really freaks them out. <laughs> what the f was that, bro? <gasps> Grandpa's going off. Mate, did you hear that? It was like, this is mine. Yeah, bro. This is mine. It was like he was doing up there and then you moved. <laughs> did you not feel anything? It continues to touch them. Who keeps trying to hold their hands? Although I think it may be a ghost, whatever it is seems to be getting more aggressive. A haunted coffee shop? Never heard of such a thing. But that's what YouTube team The Haunted Side are investigating in Virginia City, Nevada. Their investigation opens with a subtle sound. Um, heard that. The spirits then respond to the team's requests via their paranormal devices. Can you touch that little box right there on the bar? Oh. Ooh. God. Just like that. Look. Look. Right. What the f is that? The unexplained noises continue. No. Something made a noise right before I did that. And in the kitchen, they hear a whisper or a breath. It sounded, it sounded like a voice. 
The voice is heard again, louder this time, but it's unclear what it's saying. Is that you? As they're looking on a thermal camera, more unexplained noises resound. And now it's like over by the door and gone. Whoa. What? And a voice. That's the first voice I've heard come through there. Next, Patrick feels something touch his neck. That, gotta put the camera down for a second. Ooh. Something like. Not, not a scratch per se, but like. And just as he's about to speak, the spirits clink their glasses. Where are you right? Ooh. What was that? The noises don't end there. What the f is that? Then a bunch of his tech acts up on its own. I'm holding it down, the SLS closed. The full spectrum camera shut off. That was rolling. Is the IR light on? It opened back up on its own. What is happening here? As he's trying to figure it out, another clinking sound is heard. That is, what the f The spirit is even taking requests now. Can you make a noise like that again, please? Whoa, whoa. And then denying them. What the in my opinion, despite the ambient noise throughout the clip, there are too many mysterious sounds in this place to deny that it's haunted. But all I'm wondering is, if this spirit serves up a decent cup of boo brew, what is this creature? Please, writes a YouTuber named Terriana, to which I have but one question in return. Why are you still in front of it? I would have been long gone. Seriously though, it looks like some kind of toxic caterpillar, except here's the thing. This video was caught on camera on a boat while out at sea. I think we can all agree that the creature is covered in fur, something I've never seen on any deep sea creature caught on tape before, and it's really bizarre. This video was posted in 2007 and I couldn't find anything else like it, so I'm not sure what this mysterious deep sea creature is. I think it's laying on its side and normally crawls along the lighter colored bottom portion. Hopefully those long protrusions up and down its body are hairs and not sharp quills. A man enters a restaurant in Split, Croatia and helps himself not only to a chair but to a customer's belongings as well. First, he enters loudly enough to make two women turn around and take notice. He was probably on a fake phone call and tried to play it cool but fails miserably. He pretends to hang his jacket up on the chair and stretches out to try and swipe this black backpack. It doesn't work and so, undeterred, he tries again. This time as one of the family members gets up and he's about as close as he can be to getting caught here at 41 seconds and so he knocks it to the floor while the older man is busy swapping out a more comfortable chair, covers it with his jacket, picks it up and dips. They must have thought the odd fellow simply changed his mind about eating here. Only later did they realize he had gotten away with one of their travel documents. Obviously, this man has practiced this technique many times before and probably targeted them because they looked like a tourist family. He has yet to be caught in the past four years and most likely never will. So the next time you're at a restaurant, watch out for any odd characters sitting at a table near you. A YouTuber named Joseph Chan Sloan has been experiencing paranormal happenings around his house for quite some time now. Most of the activity happens around his bedroom, though no part of the house seems off limits. After giving a brief tour of his house, Joseph turns out most of the lights and goes to bed with the camera running. He wants to catch the ghost in action. It isn't long before everything he was afraid of starts to happen. Joseph wakes up and grabs the camera. He races around the house trying to find an intruder, but comes up with nothing. Let me know if you think this is real, and if not, 
how he did this all by a light anomaly, writes Francisco S. Camilla. After uploading this bizarre ring cam footage to his YouTube channel, he has no idea what this was and is looking for answers, so let's try and help. I think this could actually be paranormal because their dog just so happens to go crazy at the same time. The block is quiet and the dog doesn't really have much to bark at other than this strange moving object. Some dogs will bark at nothing so that's not necessarily proof. The way this alleged ghost orb slowly moves makes me wonder if this is actually just a bug that was attracted to the porch light walking across the lens up close to give this strange and spooky effect. A YouTuber named ShayXL and her friend Brandy Lynn are trying on various outfits and walking around the mall when they apparently attract a follower. This is the first time they notice him, and they sound more annoyed than scared. Why does this guy keep following us? Like, literally, he keeps following us. I'm in fear. Compare this to the fourth time they see him, and you can tell they really are in fear. No one should have to go through this, and I feel really bad for them. We just saw him again, so that's the third time that we saw him. Oh my god, he's following us, he's following us. The way he keeps glancing at them, while trying not to be obvious, makes me wonder how much practice he was doing this before. He obviously cannot control himself and keeps needing to take another look. He refuses to give up his pursuit and continues pretending to look at clothes. I guess it's possible, but somehow I seriously doubt he has more interest in these bright red dresses than he does in them. All of this might have been a coincidence, if not for this part, where he walks directly towards them at the end. In my opinion, he only stops and turns when he realizes they have his face on video. Look, he's right there. He's literally following us. Still, even knowing that he is caught on camera, he still passes them once more, and this time turns his head to stare. Is this all a big misunderstanding, or is he getting one final look in the most creepy way possible? This video of urban exploration published by Backyard Exploration in January 2015 is particularly eerie, because what's scarier than dark, damp tunnels and nowhere to turn? In the video description, Backyard Exploration writes, As the city grew, much of the underworld was sealed and forgotten. We infiltrate the sewers in search for this lost history. Unlike many entries on this list, these guys mean business. They are decked out with gear, headlamps, ropes, and safety equipment for sewer exploration, and they will need it. The underground is a dangerous place, and if you're claustrophobic, the tight spaces might give you screaming anxiety. Even worse, if you're squeamish, you might want to sit this one out, as there's loads of wadding through raw sewage. The exploration shows the bricked underbelly of the sewage system, along with the sewer rats that scurry across the ground and up the walls. Water trickles down from above as the team continues to trapeze through the dark tunnels, the team crawls and climbs through narrow channels to make sure no stone is left unturned, and at one point, they even walk waist deep in sewage water, which is sometimes calm, sometimes rushing. In some areas, there are massive amounts of cockroaches skittering across the ceiling of the tunnel. All in all, it's pretty much every phobia imaginable in one. As After Dark said in the comments, this is the stuff that nightmares are made of. This tunnel. But fortunately, this nightmare does come to an end. As the video concludes, they exit the sewage tunnel to breathe fresher air and see daylight again. Most of the passengers have on headsets and are watching a mid-flight movie, but one of them sees a reoccurring image and takes out their phone. This brief clip is the final instance of what they saw. Floating up from one of the seats is a formless mist that briefly swirls into the shape of a twisted face and disappears. 
All airlines are smoke-free nowadays, but I suppose that could be another possibility. While you may want to be the focus of your selfie, sometimes creepy creatures in the background can steal the spotlight. Posted by Samik Bari27 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The original source of this video is Andy from Bolivia. Andy is laying on his bed. The camera directed at him as he sings, but look at the dresser behind him. A strange figure peeks its head out for a split second before quickly pulling back. You don't see much more than some strands of its black hair. Andy notices the sudden movement behind him and turns around to see what the heck is back there. But the thing is long vanished. When he investigates the dresser, there appears to be nothing. It's probably best to leave that place and never go back. A British YouTuber named Scouse Mouse only stayed in his home for three more days after recording all of these objects in his kitchen moving on their own. I find the 2 liter of coke to be interesting because the liquid appears to move before the bottle does. Watch what I mean here. Play it in slow motion and you'll see the contents inside moves shortly before the bottle is launched. I don't think that the contents inside would move like that if it was being pulled by a piece of string. While entering a deep dark cave, these brave souls nearly left their skeletons behind. Good gravy, what is that? You can see the creature momentarily as they enter. But for some reason, this encounter doesn't send them running for the hills. And then, not long after, this happens. That hissing is somehow more terrifying than a deafening roar and the figure's features are equally horrifying. The fact that they didn't leave on the first sighting of the creature makes me think this is fake, but as we only caught a glimpse on camera, maybe they just didn't see him in the darkness. If it is acted, then it's an incredible fake. A YouTuber named Dark Exploration Films is checking out an old abandoned police station in New York City to see what he can find. He makes his way through some old dark service tunnels and finally comes out on the other side. The police station starts off as a series of twisting hallways filled with old electronics, paper documents, and various forms of evidence. As Dark Exploration Films goes deeper, he finds a lonely medical wing filled with abandoned beds. The walls look particularly clean until he comes into a final room that looks absolutely wrecked. Guys, I have no idea what we just walked into, but it's clear it's a medical room. On the floor, he finds a red stain that he thinks is absolutely real, and based on the realistic splatter pattern, I tend to agree. He steps over it and finds one last scary item, a bright orange biohazard container with the lid open. The container is pretty much empty, but it doesn't exactly look clean. Hopefully the mysterious white powdery substance inside is just chipped paint flakes and not something that is dangerous to inhale. I wish him the best, but I hope there's more info on what was in that container. YouTuber Hidden Treasures recently moved into a new home. Little did he know what he'd find inside. He leads viewers down a hallway to a dark closet and behind a lower shelf, there's a panel. The YouTuber says that when he pulled it back, you can kind of see some stairs. Then he leads viewers into the room next door where there's an adjacent closet. He recalls how he went in there to investigate where the stairs led but there's just a regular closet in this room, three walls and a ceiling. He said he brushed it off and continued to unpack his house. He went to put some Christmas stuff in the attic, 
This is where it gets interesting, he said. Once he got up to the attic, he decided to investigate if those stairs led somewhere. And in fact, they did. They led to a secret room. After tearing a wall down, this YouTuber found a whole other room in the otherwise unfinished attic. This room had wallpaper, electricity, short ceilings, a closet area, a sliding door, and a mirror on the wall. He filmed the staircase from the other side, allowing viewers to see that whoever hid this room simply framed the wall in to block the staircase and access to the secret room. This is only a one-story house, he says. You can't tell from outside that this is up here. So the question is, why was this room hidden? What was the previous owner trying to keep secret? Or who? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.